Welcome back guys. Season of Discovery is upon us. In this video, we're going to talk about regions, about server types, about class distribution, about changes to the upcoming PvP system, other statistics, and official launch times and more. Uh, basically, everything you need to know about Season of Discovery in a short couple of minutes video. The first thing I want to talk about is the poll that I found on Reddit with 5,000 responses and it features four important questions. And the first question that you find here is what region are you going to be play on, playing on? So we have an A, U, E, U and other. Unfortunately, there's not going to be an other. So those people that are 5% probably are going to be split 50-50 into European and North American servers. We have here 38.4% on EU with 56.7% on NA. NA was always slightly higher, but here we don't really count people that we get from Russia on EU or people that we get from uh, South America on NA. So uh, the numbers are pretty much kind of going to be even between EU and NA. The second important question was what server type are you be going to playing? And people answered in 5,000 responses, uh, PvP being 50% of the pie chart, uh, followed by an equal distribution between RP PvP and PvE, and 8% undecided, which you can probably add 3% to each of these, and uh, seems like PvP will be a majority. On a poll that I made on my server from 2,300 responses, we get 66% PvP, about 27% PvE, and about 13% RP PvP. The RP PvP was something new, we weren't expecting to get one of those, but apparently people complained about it and Blizzard decided to release it. Moving on, what faction are you going to be playing? It seems like the pie chart is kind of uh, going to the Alliance. We have like 43% Horde, 48% Alliance and 8.6% Undecided. It's usually going to be close to 50-50. During Hardcore, people would um, try to play more Alliance because Alliance had the Paladins, but now that's not the case anymore, kind of. I mean, we still don't have Salvation on the Horde. It's not like we need Salvation because it's not going to be if we die, we're not going to be able to go again. So it's not important as important anymore. I was expecting that Horde to overthrow for this Alliance, although you have to keep in mind that those 5,000 responses while are, are, are still a good number, it's not going to decide this is going to be the final number. On which class you'll be playing for Season of Discovery, we have another upset. Uh, the upset here is the Shadow Priest is going to be, or the Priest in general, is going to be the least played class. Although it should be the potentially the best healer in game, still. It's one of the least played classes with only 8%, followed by Rogue and Mage. Priest, Mage, Rogue are the least played classes in Season of Discovery. Classes that used to be the most played are now at the bottom of the chart. It seems that Hunter Druid is getting a lot of love, a lot of 12% plus classes, 11%, but overall it seems to me to be an even distribution of the, the class. Uh, so far looking so good. And here we have another poll where we have 16,000 votes and uh, it seems like Hunter it's the top of the chart here with uh, 2,100 votes, 13%. Shaman, it's number two which I wasn't expecting, but you understand that the Hunter is always like the newbie class. But we have Shaman, Druid, and Paladin. People want to play the hybrid classes because now they are the ones that will stand out. I'm actually amazed. And this chart seems this shows the same like the previous one. Rogue, Mage, Priest at the bottom of the, the chart. I don't understand why exactly because Rogue, Mage, Priest are still good. They still receive changes, I mean, we don't know how they're going to perform at level 40 or 50 or 60. I don't understand why there's so little uh, interest for them. Well, I think things are going to change. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. In other news, Blizzard last night uh, showed by mistake or on purpose four realms on uh, the realm list. There used to be two PvP realms, one uh, PvE, and one RP PvP, so in total four realms for the North American region. It seems like uh, they're going to be two PvP. We don't yet get the names. They're going to release the names only at launch, apparently. And we have here a couple of edits. Uh, since this article was published, Blizzard has changed all the round times to RP PvP uh, to Central Zime Tones Time Zone. 
Blizzard has changed the available seasonal realms to only one realm called the One Realm, and now all of them are hidden. So I think this is like a good representation. If they go for four realms per region, I think it's pretty good. For North America would be one West Coast, one East Coast probably, and for the EU, I don't know. And another news, uh, Decay is being removed completely from the PvP honor system in WoW Classic and Season of Mastery. Because first I saw like it's only in Classic Era, but it's for Season of Mastery, Season of Discovery as well. It's going to go live on December 5th. And when we update the PvP honor system in patch 1.14, our changes were focused on making so that we no longer needed the old PvP honor system script eliminating ranking points and removing deranking due to decay. As we look to the future, we've carefully considered the role of decay in today's honor system and how it interacts with uh, increasingly competitive honor requirements in higher ranks. As a result, we arrived at the decision to disable the honor decay in classic era and season of discovery. This will become effective starting with scheduled weekly maintenance on December 5th in this region. When the weekly honor rollover occurs on December 5, you will no longer decay due to having not met the minimum honor points requirement for your rank. Please note that the decay is not the same as the penalties by earning dishonorable kills, which uh, is now the only way a player can lose rank progress. So basically, you can PvP all the way until rank 6, push hard, and then take a break for 3 months and come back and continue. Nothing will happen. You will still have your rank forever. If you reach rank 14, there's no, never going to be a decay, you're going to be a Grand Marshal forever. This is a interesting system for 2023. We'll see how it performs. And here we have the launch times, which are very important. NA Oceanic launch times. I don't think there's going to be an Oceanic server. I think it's only going to be NA and EU server as far as I understand. But don't take my word for it. This is just the times when the server will launch. So it will be 1 p.m., PST on Thursday, November 30. And you have all the time zones here. Hawaii, Alaska, Pacific, Central. And you can see the AM, PM time. See? Wellington, Sydney. And then if you scroll down, you have the European um, servers. So Central Europe will be 22 PM. Well, 22 in the evening. In Season of Discovery, players will discover the new secrets by scoring Azra to find class-altering abilities, tanking warlocks, mage healers, and more and more will be possible. The season will launch with an initial level cap of 25, and upon reaching max level, players will be met with new level 25 endgame, discover a 10-man Black Phantom Depths raid with new and reimagined bosses, mechanics, and rewards. No long after, the level cap will be increased by a few levels, bringing even more endgame content. Hoo, 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 let's go! One last thing we want to talk about today is the vendor that is going that has been uh, added to Booty Bay. It's called Lost and Found NPC. It's been added in the patch for a while now, uh, Rix. And he's going to be able to sell back if you vendored items such as Skull of Impending Doom, such as Nifty Stopwatch, such as Lufa, such as Caraton Stick, such as Glimmering Mithril Insignia. So items that used to be really important in PvP, um, maybe even more class items and so on. Those are just a couple of examples, but are not limited to those ones. Uh, one idea that I used to have about uh, Classic Plus or uh, would be to be able to upgrade those things, to be able to upgrade Caraton Stick, for example, with, I don't know, with, uh, with Letterworking or something, or with Engineering, to be able to make it blue or epic to it's the same for Scully Impending or Nifty Stopwatch or for other items and maybe that's the reason why it was added in the game or probably only it was added for you if you sell it by mistake to be able to recover it I wish you a wonderful lunch guys if you're looking to get a, a guide for Season of Discovery to level quick 1 to 20 Rested XP there's a link in the description down below it's free 1 to 20 and if by any chance in the future you plan to make an upgrade to a full version of the guide, you can use my code FROSTEDAMUS for 5% off. The one that I'm currently using, it's the same one I had from the beginning, from two years ago. It's the Speedrun Alliance leveling guide or the Speedrun Horde leveling guide. It's the one that I would use for Season of Discovery, but any of them from the classic uh, journey would work fine. So, with that being said... I wish you a lovely launch on Season of Discovery. 
I'm gonna be playing on the North American servers in one of the PvP ones. We don't have yet a name, so I don't know exactly which one. But if you pop on my stream on Twitch at TV slash Frostedamos, probably I'm gonna be live and we're gonna choose together if you wanna play on the same server with me. With that being said, thank you very much again for watching. Until next time, stay frosty. Bye bye.